It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots, and uh, we don't have any pre-rolls this week. No. Got a couple mid-rolls, though. Damn. Chris said, fuck it, huh? He's like, <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not on Chris now. Oh, not on Chris? It's not on Chris oh, now. Okay, You're looking kind of light. We ended the year chunky. <laughs> Starting off kind of light. All right. Uh, you got any church announcements? Yes, New Orleans. All right. I'll be there this Saturday. Can't wait. I love New Orleans, man. Joy Theater. Grab your tickets at the Uh After that, I'll be in Atlanta. All the shows sold out. Th- so, thank you so much. And then Sunday, um, the following Sunday, I think it's the 25th. I'll be in Alabama for the first time. I'm really excited to perform the Star Dome out there. TheAndrewSchultz.com for tickets. We got Tempe after that, Hawaii after that. Go to TheAndrewSchultz.com, get it. All right, uh, let's start the show. Where Where do do we we begin? Bro, uh, I don't know. We had a, a spicy little debate before, mm-hmm. but um, probably best to keep that in a group nah, chat. we can talk about it. We were talking about the uh, the, the, re- the Democratic debate from last night. Yeah, that was it. Which I, <laughs> yeah, that was, that was the spicy one. What was the spicy one? Oh, you know what? You're right. Never mind. Never mind. Let's talk about the Democratic debate. All right? Now, oh uh, it seems to me now, like- We're about to have a conversation about the Democratic debate. I- I just want to let you guys know, in yes. brilliant idiot fashion- Yes. I, Neither of us have seen the Democratic. Debate. I thought no. I watched. I watched some of it. I oh, you told me you didn't I watch bo- it. I was. I literally was bored. Oh, okay. No, I yeah. watched some of it. I, I watched like. I watched I, it on Twitter. I saw the first twenty five minutes. I think okay. I actually went to sleep after the Elizabeth Warren Bernie Sanders exchange right. when they asked Bernie uh, allegedly, which so we can talk corny. about. So corny. What was the actual question they asked Bernie? They say Bernie told Elizabeth that he doesn't. They think- asked yeah. Bernie. They go, "Did you tell Elizabeth Warren that a woman can't be president?" He goes. No. I have okay. And then they go, Elizabeth Warren, how did you feel when Bernie, Bernie Sanders that, told yeah. you that a woman can't be president? You fucking morally bankrupt piece of shit. T- CNN. Taylor Gang will insert that, but I want to go back to the original point. If a man in America says he doesn't think America's ready to vote for a woman president or he doesn't think a woman can't be president... That's not an indictment of that man. To right. me, that's an indictment of America. It's the same thing when people used to say they don't think they don't think America will vote for a black president. Right. They don't think America will vote for a gay president. Right. Why? Because a large portion of America has always been racist. Or a large portion of America has always been homophobic. Right. Or a large portion of America has always been sexist. So I, right. I, even if Bernie Sanders did say that, I don't think he was saying that because he was being sexist or misogynistic or chauvinistic. It I was think an he was an indictment on America. A, an indictment on America. Simple How do we that. know that Elizabeth Warren is a woman? Shut Shut up, man. How do we know? I mean, for so long, she's claimed to be other things and then realized that she wasn't. So maybe for Mm -hmm. all this time, she's been claiming to be a woman because it benefited her. But right when... Yo, what if her name is really Warren Elizabeth? Warren Elizabeth! (laughs) That's probably who she is. Yeah. 100% 100% yeah. white English man, yeah. Warren Elizabeth. She got kids, okay? though, don't she? Say again. Oh, she got kids? We haven't seen one. She got a dog. Nah, 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 she got kids. She had a golden retriever. I'm be honest with you. A white man's favorite that. dog. Yeah. Okay? She's from Massachusetts. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's only men from there. She's definitely a woman. <laughs> I've never met a woman from Massachusetts. I think it's only men. I didn't like her she other point. Kids. She has yeah, kids? she got kids. How yeah. many kids? A daughter and a son. A daughter and a son. So she got a woman pregnant, and they had those kids. <laughs> Let's be what? honest here. I think. <laughs> what? The, okay, show. Tell me why you don't like Elizabeth Warren. Because I think. I know when you don't like somebody. Tell me why you're shooting at I Elizabeth. don't like men. <laughs> this guy's so stupid. Okay. <laughs> why don't you like Elizabeth Warren? No, to be honest, I don't like Elizabeth Warren for the same reason I love Bernie Sanders. I don't even agree with Bernie Sanders. Po- like, no, I like his politics, his economic policy. No, I think that he'd be horrible geopolitically. Like, I don't want Bernie Sanders to handle the Iran situation mm-hmm. at all. But I truly believe that he wants to help. And you think he's honest and authentic? I think he's honest and authentic. So I would rather a good person, an honest person, an authentic person over someone who is a lying sack of shit, which is Elizabeth Warren. I I think she is a truly dishonest, 
lying person. A lot of people from Massachusetts feel that way. Um, I clicked on the hashtag Never Warren this morning, and that's what a lot of people were saying. They were saying that they just feel like she constantly lies and will Lie. do anything to get ahead politically. Anything. And she throws people under the bus. Like, because they were talking about how she didn't shake Bernie Sanders' hand last night. After Are you going to not shake another man's hand like that? Well, I mean, yeah, you got to play. I mean, disrespect. If, you know, listen, like, here's the thing. Dap up Bernie. Here's the thing. Bernie can't be pussy in this situation either. And what I mean by that is, I understand we're friends, but we're all competing for this Democratic nomination. Yes. Like, there's no friends right now. There's no permanent friends or enemies in this situation. Things are going to be said. Things are going to be done because people are trying to get ahead. You're right. You I would like saying? I would like Bernie to have a little bit more smoke in general. I'd like him to be a little bit more. I know he comes across as angry and he's always like upset, but I would like Curmudgeon. him. Curmudgeon. Curmudgeon. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And, uh... <laughs> But I would like him to be, I guess, a little bit more aggressive because sometimes you need to be aggressive. Sometimes you need to be assertive, you know, and uh, that shit ain't going to work when Trump is going to try to bully you. And I mean, listen, and Trump's never been bullied. That's the thing. Like, like I was talking to my boys about this, like with Trump. Right. It's like if Trump was part of the group. We would bully that guy so much. Like he, he couldn't take it. Just the, the, like he think about this. And, 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 I, and I say this as someone who and I say this is I often defend you say this as a bully. I bully, I, like, but you're a bully with jokes. It's different. Son. I don't want to call it bullying. Bullying has such a, a, a negative context. Yeah. I you bully the people you that you are your friends that you love, you right? Fuck with them. We so, fuck with them. Hypothetically speaking, Trump is in our crew. You don't yeah. think that we're poking his belly every? You don't think we're day. fucking up his hair every? Do you think we're wiping his fucking day. makeup off his face every goddamn Nonsense. day? So what? The, this shows you how fucking pussy I'm texting, these politicians are. How fucking pussy that you can't even come at this guy. I'm texting him the Trump sandwich meme. That's it. You know what I mean? Like, what is the Trump sandwich? Which is white bread full of bologna with a little pickle. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Russian dressing. Right. Russian dressing. There you go. You saved it with the Russian dressing. Saved it with the Russian dressing. It was, you were coming in mid. You were coming in mid, but the Russian dressing got you. That's true. That's true. That's true. Like you, you start with that, shoot, and somebody shoot, else adds something. <laughs> That's all. That's not a group chat. That's work. all I'm saying. Like these guys, you can go. It's so easy to go with this guy. And I say this to someone who's complete practical and pragmatic. I think that he handled the Iran situation beautifully. I really think it. And if you look at where we are right now with it, Iran is quiet. They did some phony ass bomb of a base. They're so fucking petrified. They shot another plane out of the sky. Rest in peace, the people who died there. But that's what happened. I mean, listen, if I had this, if I had to grade the Iran situation based off everything that's out there, you would have to kind of give them an A only because there was no casualties on the American side. No casualties on the American side. We took out a really bad guy on the other side and they're completely fucking freaked out. Right. The, so I say this to someone who's very practical. You need to be a little bit more tough if you're going to do this. Y yes. You need no, to be a real. little bit more yes. tough. Like, yo, Bernie needs- You're running for president, bro. It's the real and, and, shit. And, and the language of politics has changed so much because of Trump. Yes. And if you know there's one thing that America likes, it's toughness. That, it don't matter. Now, that, yo, that's why a lot of people like Senator Kamala Harris. Because whether you yo, agree with her or disagree with her, you knew she was tough. If you put people Bernie- People like toughness. And this might not ever work, but if you put Bernie with Kamala Harris- like, at least we know there's someone who's tough, who's not going to give a shit, who's going to come yeah, through, yeah, yeah, and yeah, there's yeah. going to be something assertive about it. And I think that it might comfort people, just like when Barack Obama ran and they had Biden. Like, all these white folks are like, ooh, a guy who kind of looks like my uncle, yeah, a guy who yeah, looks yeah, like my yeah, grandfather. Yeah. I'll go with that. And I mean, listen, even with uh, Senator Warren, eh, it's a part of you kind of got to like the cutthroatness. What cutthroatness? If, I'm not going to shake your hand. But no, if your people, <laughs> if your people leak that story, which Bernie is saying is completely false, right? But you leak it, and it just puts a enough of a little stain in his army. Yeah, man. I mean, it's not a bad tactic. Hey, I'll say that. I'll give you this. She is willing, in the same vein as like Hillary Clinton, she is willing to do anything: lie, steal, kill to get power. So, I, I, Hillary I, was tough too. They, Hillary was Hillary tough. Hillary would get your ass, bro. Oh, Hillary would have bombed Iran. We would have. <laughs> so, Iran would, you, would be a parking lot right now if it was if Hillary, Hillary was Clinton. Present. That's it. Don't yeah. play around. So maybe she's cut from the same cloth in that regard, hundred percent. But I can see right through her. Like I can see how phony that person. I know a phony when I see All a phony. Politicians are like that. I'm, I'm more. I'm more. That's why you got to look for the Ryan Seacrest. Ryan Seacrest does the most phony things authentically, and you're like, holy shit, you are good. You really care nah. about, you pretend to care about this? You are fucking exceptional. Nah, Ryan's authentic. He, if he is yeah, or if he I, isn't, he, he he's is. so great at what he does. He is, he, 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 he's, he's good at being him. He is who he is. Like, like when, you're, when you're with there Ryan off air, yeah. 
It's not like he's some cursing fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, and that's by the way, that's maybe, maybe he is with his close, close circle. But with you, you I've buy ne- it. I've, I've, and I've caught Ryan some very intimate moments just yeah. coming from the gym. Like, yeah, yeah. And it's cool, like, oh, what's up? You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah, yeah. He, he's, he's not, he's not I too I didn't far mean that as a is. criticism. Yeah, I, I, got you. I meant in terms of like, he strikes me as authentic. In, and he does some of the most inauthentic things. Like hosting is such a hard thing. It's inauthentic to host. And when he does it, I don't care what the fuck he's hosting. You're like, man, this is professional. Hosting this is, is a legit. Job. It's a job. That's the, yeah, yeah, that's the difference. Hosting is a job. When you got that microphone in your hand and you're reading that prompter, yeah. that's your job. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And most people aren't good at it. Can we, no, can we be fair? No, like, not. Yeah, you're right. So yeah. I need somebody who can do it in a way that's believable. You know? I don't know. And why was nobody talking about this Yang guy? Yang was, first of all, let's be clear. Yeah. The DNC has already, Yang is done. They don't DNC, care. The DNC is making sure Yang is done. You will not see Yang. I, I doubt you'll see Yang in any more debates. Only really? Because, because the DNC changes the qualifications for every single debate. So it's just This like, thing is so corrupt, yeah. bro. They're yeah, they are so change, corrupt. They, they, they change it for every debate. So every debate you have to have, I think it's a new set of donors and something else. But that's why, that's why Yang wasn't in this debate. That's right. Bloomberg... You can only enter the debate if you accept donations. And Bloomberg isn't in the debate because he's funding it himself. Mm-hmm. My concern is like with Bloomberg, what's your think? Th- uh, what's your thoughts on Bloomberg? I don't, I, to me, I don't have a theory on Bloomberg. To me, Bloomberg is just another billionaire. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if billionaires have the, 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 the mindset to run America, bro. Like, I, I just really don't. Like, how can we relate to billionaires? How can billionaires relate to us? You know what I'm saying? Like, I think a billionaire has to really, 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 really come down to the level, yeah. to the ground, like really, really to the ground to understand how bad things could possibly be in America. Like, you, you've you been too high on the hog for too long. I just don't yeah. think that a a billionaire can relate. Did you think he did a good job in New York when he was mayor? Um, Depends. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I, 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 stop and frisk policy was terrible for people that look like me. Right. But you was that Bloomberg or was that? That was uh, Bloomberg. I thought that was a, a Giuliani. No, that was Bloomberg. Picking. Bloomberg was stopping frisk. Really? Yeah. Bloomberg was stopping frisk. I mean, but yo, that's like asking, was Giuliani good for New York? Right. Clearly, yeah. Right? Yeah. Unless as far as like crime, as far as cleaning up New York City. You but know if you're I mean? in the mafia, you're like, no, this guy's a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, know. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I just, don't, I, just, I just don't know if, like, even with Tom Steyer, any of those guys, I just don't know how much billionaires can relate to what's going on in motherfucking in America, bro. Like, you literally got, I think, what, 40... 40 something percent of people are one paycheck away from being in poverty. Like, yeah. Oy. How does a billionaire relate? Yeah. I mean, maybe there's a chance that, you know, they were at one point that way and they still have empathy. I mean, I, I think there's something that is admirable about someone who's built up like the job of president. I imagine would be a lot about hiring um, talented people to make a country be successful. Mm. And you can't be a billionaire as someone who's trying to scale up a business myself, I realize you cannot scale up without talent around you. You got to have a team. You have to have a team of exceptional people around you. So these billionaires, they know how important hiring is and they know how important HR is and maybe they'll hire the right people for the jobs. You make a good point because even when I look at the Democratic candidates now, there's nobody that I'm absolutely in love with. To be honest with you, there's probably nobody I even like. I like Mayor Pete, you know what I mean? But there's no, I don't even think there's nobody I even really like. Bernie, Bernie, I like Bernie, you know, but I'm really looking at who is their running mate going to be? Mm. You know, who's who's the team around them? Like, that's mm-hmm. that's what I'm looking at for all of them right now. Mm. Like that's what's going to make me actually be energized to go vote in the primaries and vote in the general election. Who do these people have around them? Mm. Right now, Bernie, to me, has the best people around him. Yeah. Because he has Senator Nina Turner, you know what I'm saying? Because he has, you know, Killer Mike. Like, he has those people that I that I trust. He has other people that you believe want to help. Yeah, Omar. Like, these are yeah. people that I know at least... Know what's going on. I'm skeptical of AOC. On the ground level. Why you say that? I just don't think she understands math. What do you mean? <laughs> I just don't. I, th- I think she truly doesn't understand how math works. Break it down. So she didn't want Amazon to come to New York, right? Because why are you giving this people, why are you giving these people uh, uh, tax breaks? What are you going to do? Et cetera, right? The money is going to get taxed regardless, right? I think the idea with big business is... And I could be wrong. Somebody listening, please correct me if it's it's right. Let's say a business comes in and it hires 10,000 people. Let's say you charge that business $0 in tax, mm-hmm. right? So then they can hire 20,000 people, right? They're going to pay all those employees that are working for the business who are then going to get taxed. And then the state 
will make the money based on the taxation of the employees, which is now double because the business is not going to get taxed. So the state still gets its money and twice as many people get to work or a third more people get to work because you're not taxing the business at that level. How many people would get provided like, you know, just federal aid if Amazon was actually getting taxed for real, for real? But I think I saw I what, is, a, what, I what do people one. want at the end of the day? I think people don't want to be given money. I think they want to earn their money. I think they Shit. want opportunity. <laughs> I think that. Yeah. I think that. I think at the end of the day, people have a lot of pride and like, given that they have the opportunity to like work hard and 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 earn their money, they want to do it. But given they're in a situation where they work hard and they can't even afford to feed their family, they're like, well, fuck it, I'll just take the but, free money. But tell me if I'm wrong. But doesn't that tax money go to like you know? Disabilities and Social Security and shit like that, like what the, the pensions and it's the tax money. I'm saying it's the tax money, the same tax money you get taxed by iHeart. That's what I'm say, saying. Doesn't that tax money go to like we pay federal tax, pay state tax, you pay saying, all those? Yeah, things. and doesn't that go to like federal funded government shit? Like I think it goes welfare to everything. and pensions. I think it's everything. I think it's yeah, welfare, yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's roads and it's police, it's firemen. Yeah. I think it goes across all of it. Yeah. Right. All I'm saying is the money is going to get to the government regardless. Um, I think Amazon should be taxed, but I'm only saying that till I build my billion dollar business, and I'm one. And then you don't want to be taxed. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> let me throw this idea. Let me throw this idea out at you. Yeah. You tell me if this under. If you but I do want to pay as little taxes as possible. Son, so do Anybody I. that tells you otherwise is a fucking liar. Did you pay this year yet? I just saw what I'm paying this year. Yeah, I paid. Let me let me ask you. I paid. Okay, and tell me if I'm making sense here. Mm-hmm. When Bezos divorce his wife and maybe that's a bad example but when you see these like rich people divorce their wife right and the wife gets half right uh, most people the reaction is whoa half is too much i mean eddie murphy had that great joke about how is she gonna get half of the mm-hmm. money like how the hell could you give her half the money right most people will side with the guy why does she deserve half the money right or the husband right mm-hmm. but when a rich person goes well, I don't want to give half my money to the government every year in taxes. People go, you greedy motherfucker. Yo, 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 How yo, dare yo, you, yo, you yo. greedy piece yo, of shit. We don't even got to say rich. Nobody wants to give half their money to the government. When I used to work at Demo in the mall, yeah. I was looking at my check saying, who the fuck who is the FICA? Fuck? <laughs> like, why the fuck do I got to give FICA half my money? Nobody wants to give half of their money to the government. But for whatever reason... We shit all over rich people when they have to give half, but we support husbands when they don't give half to the wife. And my feeling about that is, doesn't the wife deserve it more than the government? The wife gave you children, looked out for your children, breastfed your children, raised Fucked your you children. You broke. Fucked you when you were broke. when you were broke. Taylor like, knows that's hard to do. Shit, girl. <laughs> hard to fuck a broke man, ain't it, Taylor? Hit that fucking yes. <laughs> freeway <and> shit. <laughs> why, right? Why you think Taylor blood vessels in her eyes yeah. pops? Right after the fucking holiday break. Because like, that I'm, house smells. This motherfucker <laughs> buy me shit. I'm still with this man. I love him. That fucking pressure made her fucking blood <laughs> Bezels in her eye pop. Damn, I had girl. a really good Christmas gift. Back. Really? You did? Was you it some gift. contacts? You <laughs> 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 no. said gift. You get what I'm saying, if you right? If you broke, it would have been gifts. gifts. Ooh. Okay, continue. No, I do. I, 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 listen, nobody wants to pay half in taxes. It's just, it's so, just so honestly, when, I, like, when, when I see Amazon and they're not paying any taxes, you jealous. I'm upset, but I'm only upset because I know... Don't tax me then. No, they making plenty of money. They not going to miss this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The dude working at motherfucking Subway ain't going to miss it. He's going to miss that. Ha- yeah. Let him keep his money yeah. and tax the big dogs like that. That's it. That's that's. That, so, yeah, I understand that. I don't know. But why doesn't AOC understand math, though? Because that was the math I just explained. Like, the money's going to get to the government anyway, but here she is, you know, blocking 20,000 potential jobs who would all pay taxes and that money goes to the government. I, I would have to see how I would have to see how that weighs out. Like, OK, yes. I want my Amazon packages today. Yeah, but 20,000 potential jobs, no doubt. But I would like to see, because I, I read something before where they showed uh, if Amazon was to pay a certain amount of tax, how much money that would put into the economy to people who need it. Right, but when it's put into the economy, the economy, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm not, I'm not one of these fucking like libertarians or even like super conservatives that's like knocking the government. But we all know that the government doesn't spend money very efficiently. And that's that's what they need to show us, right? Right. They need to show us. Where the fuck this tax money is going? So, so here, so my issue with someone like her is she's like, give the government all the money, the government will spend it. It's like, well, the government sucks at spending money, right? Like yeah. the MTA is broke. It has no competition. The roads in New York are shitty. It has no competition. Yeah. You, there's one, there's fucking one train. You have to take it. 
You have to take it. Yeah. And you're still losing money. How is that possible? Yeah. You're not efficient with spending money. So it's like, I would rather give that money to the employees. I'd rather you employ more people. Give that money to the employees. Let more people work for your company, right? Have Let them have jobs where they're earning fucking money. And then they'll pay taxes on the earnings that they make. And then that money goes to the government. If it's less good, figure that shit out. Yeah. But at least the people can spend their money when they want. Yeah. Wouldn't you rather people working for their money than being given it? What if we could come to an agreement of, which we all want, just being taxed less? Because, yo, 5% of Amazon is still a big-ass bankroll. Mad money, bro. <laughs> you Mad know what I'm money, saying? bro. 5% of Amazon is still a big-ass motherfucking bankroll. Apple holding all their money overseas. Yeah, yeah, They're yeah. They're not bringing yeah, that yeah, money yeah. over here. Yeah. But we don't say shit because we want the new phone. Yeah. Maybe, mm-hmm. yeah, maybe it's, just, maybe it's just a thing of percentages. Like, instead of, like, hitting me for half, hit me for some. You know what I mean? Let me let me let me give a little five percent. Maybe maybe that should be the cost of being a billionaire. Okay, go. Right? Because think, like, think about it. Talk about it. This is interesting. Go. The, the, the richer all of us get, right? Lawyer get ten percent. Managers get ten percent. Your agent gets a percentage, and you don't really miss it because you got so much coming in. But you, but then you see it. Yeah. And then you see how many you bites. Know where, and you know exactly where it's going. Really? So maybe that's what some of these big companies need. Like, yo, maybe it should be a tax that goes specifically to certain things. Like, I don't just want to give my money to the government. I want to know where, where the government is spending my money. Yeah. If you're showing me these families that are on government assistance and my tax dollars are going to helping them eat, or yeah. my tax dollars are actually going to put people through school, I'm cool with that. That's it. But just when you just like, Fika, here, let me get that. Stop with the fight here. You know what I mean? New York State, let me get that, but the roads are shitty. Come on, son. Garbage all over the motherfucking street. You know what I mean? What's going on? Something's going on. Something's got to get it. Cops ain't the richest. Teachers aren't the richest. All the government employees not making any money, but we giving all money to the government. That's what I'm saying. I just want to know where the bread going. I think it's a completely reasonable thing. And if it is going to, oh, we got to build submarines and shit, well, I want to name the submarine. (laughs) USS Dick Talk. <laughs> we coming to fuck you. I'd love to see Dick Talk go deep. <laughs> Dick Talk would go deep. Dick Talk. Dick yeah. Sick. Okay. You Listen, Dick Talk would be great. Son, it's the US's Dick Talk, but the missiles Yo. say Dick segment. So it's like Dick Talk, Dick segment. What if we did a cartoon with a brilliant idiot talk? In the military, we're in the fucking navy, and we have our own submarine called USS Dick Talk. The USS Dick Talk. <laughs> and we let them missiles fly. We there it is. These dicks. That's Little it. pump said they smoking dicks. We hitting countries with dicks. Let's go. Oh, shit. Let's I ran. Go. Go. Get them dicks. <laughs> Holy you shit. ran, but you can't swim. <laughs> huh? I, I ran, but him. you can't swim. Oh, oh, shit. Shit. Uh, Come on, son. <laughs> Come on, son. Come on, son. We in a submarine. That's in the water. Yeah, but um, yeah, I don't give a fuck no more. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I don't, I don't even care. I watched, I, I realized that last night with the Democratic debates. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna look at who the people's running mates are, who their team is, and that's who I'm fucking with in 2020. I just don't. Th- I, I, I just, I think Trump wins this year by a landslide. I think. But you're... don't listen to me. I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan. I've been saying we're going to Super Bowl for the past 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right. And I think, honestly, the way that you beat Trump is you have someone with the same assertiveness, the same confidence, the same political strategies, more or less. Only one Democrat can beat Trump, bro. Who's that? Bullworth. Bullworth could do it. Bullworth could absolutely Bullworth could do it. fuck Trump. You might, you, some of the young people listening right now, you might not know about the uh, Warren Beatty movie. Google Bullworth. Matter of fact, Bullworth. not even the young people. Some of you presidential candidates on the Dem side need Don't to Google know, no. Bullworth. And y'all need to take shit out of his playbook. Son, if you had someone that did everything that Trump is doing outside of like the 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 uh, the the civil rights rhetoric that we all don't agree with, right? But if you had them that are you know leading with strengths of serv- assertiveness, but instead of divisiveness, they led with and this might sound corny, but I do believe it. They led with love instead of divisiveness. They led with love. Same strength, same assertiveness. Same political strategies, but literally with love. Hey, mm-hmm. we're all coming here together. This, this, we're all part of this. I think Barack was kind of like that. Barack was. People think Barack, Barack was so left leaning. Barack was a moderate, Sorry. like a motherfucker. Barack Ask had the a Middle East how left leaning yeah. Barack was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A lot of dust out there. Yeah. Now. So even that the the uh, HBCU bill that um, Trump just reinstated. It was one year. Barack didn't. He didn't. He didn't push it through. 
Yeah. Right. So yeah. I just think that there is room for that type of leader. And I don't know if any of these guys will do it, but if you lead with that, if you lead with love, you're going to bring people together. We just want to be safe and we want to be secure. And I think a lot of people run to the easiest form of safety and security, right? They run to the mob boss who's like, okay, well, at least no one will hurt me because this guy's real tough. But when someone comes around who's safe and secure, but also want to look out for you. Yeah. It's like, okay. Who you fucking what, with 2020 though? Bernie, I mean, if if Bernie gets there, you vote for Bernie. You voted for Bernie in the primary last time. Yeah, I. I, I mean, the, he's the, good. Yeah, primary, he's yeah. truly good. He's truly fucking good. Um, so, so I want someone. I'm gonna good. be honest with you. I like Bernie too, but I I can't sit here and act like ageism doesn't play a role. But ain't Trump just as old or something? Ain't yeah, Trump but Bernie, that? he don't he don't act like it. Bernie looks old. Yeah, and how you look all that old living in Vermont? He looks like he <laughs> <laughs> don't he live in Vermont or something he, like that. He looks like he was sleep at the. He looks like he's sleep until he's asked the question. Son, <laughs> he really does. Like you ever been? Oh, you don't. You're not married. Why? What happened? You know, you know, you ever be talking to your your, your kids and your kids be talking to you? You're like, yeah, yeah sure, Yo, come sure, on. Sure, 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 this is how daddy sure. issues start. Daddy, huh? Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm just saying. You know what I mean? Like you, like you, like you're really asleep at the wheel right. until it's time to not be asleep at the wheel. Yeah. You know, go to your, go to your daughter's cheerleading competition. Yeah, <laughs> tell me that you not sleep. Yeah, but boy, when she asked you, did you see her? Yeah, yeah. she was great. She was great. <laughs> what was your favorite part? When you the went flips. like that, <laughs> <laughs> but it's the truth. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you you're up when you're up. So when it's time to get asked the question, you go. You there? But when you're not, you're not sleep. That's it. Simple as that. Maybe he's relatable. I'm not that old. Maybe you just said you can't get it through a, a little girl cheerleading recital. Yeah, but that's cheerleading. That's only. What two do they hours. do if there's no sports? How do they? What are they so excited for? Who? During a cheerleading competition? No, cheerleading is definitely a sport. No, no. Meaning, like, I get the cheerleading when there's a sport you're cheering for, but like, what are they cheering for when there's no sport? It's a competition. So yeah, it's but routines. like, what are you excited about? What do they yell? They, Let's go, nobody. No, no, no. They, they, they're doing their routines. <laughs> it's a routine. It's like a dance routine. Yeah, but the whole point of it. Oh right, <laughs> I'm making sense here. The whole no, point not. of it, the whole point of it, is to support the sport. So if you remove the sport, why are you so no, excited? No, 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 no. That's that's just one aspect of cheering. Right. Uh, the other aspect of cheering is competition. So they actually do routines. It's like it's actually really dope. So it's dancing. You seem bring it. It's on? not dancing. It's like flipping, and it is. It's like dancing, flipping. It's like gymnastics. It's a little bit of everything. Like they be, they get busy. They do stunts where they're stacking on top of each other. Like it's. Yeah, it's actually very interesting. I'm just confused about that. It's it's just it seems odd to nah, me. Nah, nah, just shit. get a ladder. Just get a ladder. <laughs> Shut. Up. I just don't get it. I I've watched it. I'm not I'm not trying to be critical of it. I just don't get it. Like I. You saw Bring It On. Say again. You saw Bring It On, right? Is Andy I saw maybe the type pieces. Of person to watch Bring It On. Yeah, maybe pieces of it. I I just I get that we can be competitive about dumb shit. Don't get me wrong, mm -hmm. right? But like, I don't understand. I don't understand the urge. I feel like it's good marketing. I feel like we told girls ever since they're young, like the hot girls are the cheerleaders. Like that's how it was in sitcoms and movies and TV shows. So girls are like, well, if I want to be hot, I should cheer. And then they're doing this thing where they're climbing on top of each other for no reason. Oh, no. You got to, if you watch it, if you actually watch a cheerleading competition, yeah. you would have respect for it. It's it's like. You just told me you fall asleep through the whole thing. I'm a fucking. <laughs> and you're personally invested. Your I... daughter is in it. <laughs> it don't get any more than you. Well, She's at the top of a tower. Well, she could fall down. I will say this. It's exciting when my daughter does it. <laughs> Everybody else, I don't give a fuck about you. God bless you. <laughs> are you I respect it, though. Are you waiting for the falls? Is it like NASCAR where nah, you're like... They could... it's not like a bombing on a comedy show. It's not the same. Because <laughs> those little girls really be hurting themselves, so it's painful. You know right, what I mean? Right, When you watch somebody bomb at a comedy show, it's just like, it's just your emotions, their spirit is bruised. Like, they right. be like... Like, it's more injuries in cheerleading than it is in football. Now we're talking. No, that, it's like, that's yeah. a fact. It's more injuries in cheerleading than... Like, my, my daughter has already had like a... Broken foot and a a, a a fracture in her knee. Really? Yeah, absolutely. And you let her keep doing this thing? She loves it. But at least with football, Listen, you could be a millionaire. Yeah, but is that worth CTE? Yeah. Is that worth being a Antonio Brown? Dude, Antonio Brown. <laughs> 20 something years old. Everybody laughing at Antonio Brown. Bro, Antonio Brown ain't all there. He's not all it's there. Clear, it's clear. He is not all and, there. And, and it's like, yo, you don't know if it's CTE. You don't know if it's he had. Other mental health issues that he never got a handle on. Like, yeah. it's really not funny. Yeah. You know? I mean, it's funny. What was funny? I'm going to say it was funny. <laughs> it's both. I it's read, both. I'm listening to the story this week. I'm listening yeah. to 
I'm listening to you know people talk about the story. Angela, he was doing it on Rumor Report, and yeah, like he threw a. Like he threw a bag of dicks at it's not a rumor, there's a video. It's a video, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know, do you know, a bag of dicks at a woman and uh, you know, d- d- cursing her out and I'm I'm everybody's like, yeah, yeah, I can't believe he was cursing her like and I'm like, nobody wondered where he just got a bag of dicks. Thank you. <laughs> Thank this guy ordered multiple dicks on Amazon. Thanks, AOC. That 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 he threw at a girl. Like fuck the cur like I understand the cursing and in front of the kids and all that, yeah, that's bad, but just who walks around with a bag of candy dicks? Oh, they were candy dicks. Yes. What you thought they were? I thought they were like, he bought a 12-pack of dildos. Human organs? <laughs> Real dicks? Harvesting <laughs> organs. Jesus. It was candy dicks. I actually looked up the website. It's uh, Dicks by Mail. Okay. It's Dicks by, no, seriously, Dicks by Mail.com. Okay. And you can order a bag of candy dicks. I'm getting I'm getting everybody in this office that's a man who won't me to me a bag of candy dicks. Um, don't envy bother. Some. Already got them. Oh, you already got them? <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm getting envy some. I'm getting Elvis some. Just letting y'all know now, Valentine's Day, you will be receiving a bag of candy dicks. Can I choose the candy flavor? From Menard. I think they're like gummy bears. Google it. Google it. Taylor. Oh, that's weird because you got to like chew and what suck on them. Google candy dicks. Put bag of candy dicks. I would like a chocolate dick. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, that'd be fun. Like an Easter bunny, but it's a dick. That would be dope. It would be dope to see you in an interracial relationship. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, look. And it comes with a little note that says, eat a bag of dicks. <laughs> Look, see, dick, dick mail. That's great. That's amazing. That's great. Come on, man. Hey, they're they're literally amazing, small yo. gummy bears. I imagine them as much larger. I imagine those full size dicks are even larger than full size. I just don't 1. like a, 5 they, they, the, 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 the news report did the Antonio Brown what CNN did to uh, Bernie Sanders. To Bernie Sanders. Like he threw, like threw a bag of dicks. And then nothing. Nothing. No context. No, no. Like, did you catch it? Did you catch it with your mouth? How do you catch a bag what of dicks? What kind of dicks? Yeah. Well, that's what I was thinking. Nobody would think candy dicks. You're like, do a bag of dicks. What'd you thought? You thought it was dildos. I thought it was dildos. I thought she caught one with each hand, one with her mouth. <laughs> and she was like, you thought you had good hands. <laughs> I'm the best wide receiver in this family. <laughs> so what? I'm not a tight end. That's your fault. Right. <laughs> Most of y'all didn't even get that. Most of y'all didn't even get that. He opened up that end. That's what he's saying. That's a joke right there. All right? That's the group you, chat. You just got group chat live. That's that's group chat live. GCL group chat oh, live. It's so stupid, man. Let's pay some bills. Um, socks. Yo, man. Do you remember when socks were just a boring white glove for your foot? Uh, well, times have changed because Stance turned socks into the most exciting article of clothing you have. I'm going to tell you why I love Stance socks. Uh, their designs are incredible. They're very comfortable. I got... Wu Tang stand socks. I got Marvel comic stand socks. Like I had on a pair of uh, Storm from X Men stand socks the other day. But um, Storm's got her own socks. Storm's got her own socks. She's an X Men. Like so, so 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 you you could buy stand socks, buy the pair, or sign up for a subscription that's based on your preferences and your customized timeline. Now the problem I have with stand socks is the go. problem I have with all socks. Go. You wear them once and you don't know where the fuck they go. Mm. Where do socks go? <laughs> Once yeah, you put them in the washer, it's over. It's, yeah. oh, it's a wrap. Yeah, it's, it's true. a wrap. And these socks are too dope to be losing, man. But yeah. right now, Brilliant Idiots listeners can get a free pair on your next order. All you have to do is go to stance.com slash idiots for free socks with your purchase. Now, I will tell you something I will be doing this summer. Go. I think I'm going to try the short pants with the socks pulled all the way up to the knee just so people can see me in the fresh ass stance socks. Son, it's a great look. It's a great look. I mean, I don't know if it's great, but I'm going to try it just because I don't know what else to do with the socks. It's a great look. You think you're talking about shorts or are you talking about shorts. a pant? No, shorts. Ah. I'm going to wear shorts. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to pull the socks all the way up just because yep. the socks got dope ass designs on them. Yeah. I want people to see. Yeah, that's like a West Coast Vato Loco thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I like else. that for you. I like that for you. You think it will look work? Yeah, I think maybe a khaki. You go with a nice khaki Not short. Doing that, no. Well, you're going to go with a jeans short? You dress like 50 Cent? Nah, I'm going to do like basketball shorts. Like basketball shorts. Oh, you're talking about like a relaxed, like at home attire. Yeah, awesome, awesome sweat shorts. Sweat shorts. Yeah, like the sweatpants, but the sweat, the sweat the shorts. Oh, dude. Yeah. We got to get Serge Ibaka in one of those. Huh? What? <laughs> I did think of something just now. <laughs> oh, we know. I might as well say it. Gives a fuck. Go. I think it, it might be a little too big for shorts. 
His dick would be hanging out the end. Yeah. You're saying, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> It'd be hanging I'm out the end. Saying, Do you be... think when you first see him, you'd be like, bro, are you taking I a know, shit? Bro, what? It'd be a little gay. <laughs> It'd be a little weird, yeah. bro. Like your dickhead just at the bottom of your shorts. It'd be yeah. kind of strange. It would be weird. That would make a lot of people uncomfortable. Yeah. That's you think, all I'm saying. Do you think it's circumcised or not? I have no idea. Do you think his uncircumcised dick is just hanging out like a big old blunt he was smuggling? Yeah. Question: If you are uncircumcised, right, and you have a big penis, but when it's on soft, yeah, it's mostly skin. Yeah, it looks like a stance it's sock. Nice. Like if you was to whip it out, yeah, if you was to whip it out, Taylor, would you be impressed? Would you be like, oh shit? Or you'd be like, that's just all skin. It's all skin. Would yeah, you yeah, try yeah. to cuddle up inside it like a sleeping bag? <laughs> you know, move the smack mouth the way and just you know warm is, up a little it's bit. It's fun to play with though. What, foreskin? Yeah. Holy shit. I've never heard it. This is crazy. <laughs> this is new. This is... I've never heard this. Hold on. Really? Hold on. Tell me more. Hold on. I've been, we've talked about foreskin a lot over the years. Salute to Zuri Hall. When when she was dating what? her oh, boyfriend yeah. with foreskin. I can't yeah. remember his name she right now. She keeps dating the same guy over and over again. Well, hopefully the, the hopefully, same white guy, just a little bit different hope, over and over again. Hopefully, homie, that she dating now is circumcised. Does she yeah. date black guys? Huh? Does she date black That's guys? None That's none of your business, yo. Fucking business. Yo, why are you asking all these questions? That's why your eyes red, because she probably punched you in What them. does it matter if Zuri dates black guys or not? I just want to know. Back, now, back to you having fun with this foreskin, <laughs> goddammit. What do you do with it exactly? <laughs> yo, this is going to be crazy. I need, like, like... Use your hoodie. Don't use my fucking water, yo. Use your hoodie. <laughs> Oh, I know. Okay, so look. Yeah. Like, is nah, that's circumcised. Your hoodie. Oh, I got it. I got a good one. Give me the top of the mic. Take it off. Okay. Now, it's a uncircumcised dick. <laughs> yes. No, no. This is uncircumcised. That's the ridge. Yeah. The top part. So, I can yeah, smell yeah. it. I just like. I just like. Like. Jerk it up and yeah, down. Yeah, jerking it up and down, and then just like trying to cover the top part. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> that shit would make me feel so insecure. He... I swear if a girl was playing, just sitting there playing on my foreskin, Inside. that shit would drive me crazy. My insecurity would make me go nuts with why, that shit. Why? Why? Why is that? I would just feel like she playing with me. Like, why are you playing with me? I he didn't she like is. it. I was dating a Haitian. He did not like that. He didn't? I thought it was funny, though. I would try to cover it, the top part, and then, like, pick a poo. Like, I just pick a poo. <laughs> pick a poo. Peek-a-poo. Peek-a-poo. What the fuck? <laughs> really? Yeah, but I'm never doing that shit again. Why? Because it comes with too much like that. It's disgusting. The smegma? The of, yeah. But it's not he cleaned himself, but it still was like it's too many issues that come with it. See what I'm saying? You know how prejudiced this is? Exactly. I had a whole thing about it. It is, though. No, you, this is You prejudice. just was giving it so you much props. I wasn't, I didn't That's feel, how dicks are supposed to look. I didn't feel going raw with him. Why not? Because. Like, You're never really going raw with somebody who has foreskin, by the way. Why? They always got coverage? It's natural condom. Mm, <laughs> interesting point. But do you, don't, you don't think a foreskin dick and like a, a like your regular pussy, they're the same. Nobody makes you cut off something off of your pussy. It's not the same. It literally is how God made dicks and pussies. <laughs> That's exactly the same. No, but the dick is going in the pussy. It's yeah. Not, I wouldn't say the pussy's the same as a fucking, what's it called? What are those dicks called? Uncircumcised I mean, dicks. You know, Andrew, dicks. AKA dicks. <laughs> Andrew does have a point. I mean- it's natural. It, it comes with foreskin. Yeah. Like it is a natural thing. That is like the, that's the organic dick. It is. You know what I'm saying? Once you get it circumcised, it's like, yo, it's a little GMO-ish. It's GMO. <laughs> Just a little bit. You shop at Whole Foods or Gristini's? <laughs> I never Real heard talk. of what And that? guys that have foreskin say that the sex feels better. I've heard that. Yeah. Because our dicks are desensitized. Not mine. <laughs> <laughs> Why would it be desensitized? Imagine how sensitive it would be if you had the foreskin. Because the foreskin covers your dickhead, which is yeah. the sensitive part your whole life. Yeah. Your dickhead is just exposed to the yeah, environment. That's why dogs nut so fast, though. Because they got that pink they shit. They got that out. goddamn foreskin. Dogs are uncircumcised. So dogs can just hump the air and the air turns them on so much. They start nutting all over the place. I wonder if that happens to motherfuckers that are uncircumcised. They come faster. <laughs> yeah. They come faster, 100%. Why you think girls like us? Because we give them that long dick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's not fun to suck, though. Taylor, 
Can you calm down? Wow. Yo, <laughs> Taylor, this, this, this is a PG-13 Fuck. podcast. What are you talking about What's up with here? you, man? You guys are talking about it and then you get mad. It's a horrible I, decision. I know. Like, what's going on? You said they're fun to suck? No, they're not. Oh. They're not fun to suck. <laughs> Why? What does it feel like? It's just too much skin. Oh, is that why your eyes turn red? Yeah. But, but hold up, though. <laughs> oh, my God. Your eyes did look like a pink dick the last week. So listen, when, they get, when it gets hard, though, doesn't the skin go back? A little bit. But, like, as soon as it gets soft, that shit comes right back. Like, it's no... Circumcise your kids, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the more little motherfucking story. Circumcise your kids. Mm. Look, man, I met Will Smith this week. Oh, I wanted to ask you about that. Well, can I first ask you about... Uh-huh. Uh, 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 Martin. I'm actually more curious about Martin. Talk to me. Did you? I met Martin before. I met Martin um a couple of years ago at the Wrinkle in Time premiere. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what was your take on Martin? How, how did you? He's more isolated to me. You don't get as much Martin as you do Will in terms of like true personality and who they are as a well, human being. Let's talk about that, right? Yeah. Um, Martin. Martin is clearly more of a introvert. Yeah. Right. But clearly, that's who Martin. Has always been. Yeah. We don't know Martin. Yeah. We know Martin from television. Yeah. We know Martin from movies. We know Martin yeah. when he's on, like our yeah. senior hall show, things like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we don't know him. Yeah. In real life, he probably he said it. He's like, I'm he's like, I'm shy. Like he was yeah. like, I don't like the He's like, I didn't even do press for Bad Boy too. Yeah. He, he said I didn't even do I didn't even think about that. Blockbuster movie, he said I did not even do press. For bad boy too, and why, know? why, why he's um he said because they wouldn't get him a private jet and shit like that. But I mean, I think a guy like Martin, man, I don't think Martin loves the limelight as much as people think he does. You know what I mean? And plus, he's getting older now, and he was like, "Yo, man, people running up on you in the street." What's up? Isn't that like uh, he's not into that? Yeah. You know. But then you look at Will. You said that Will's personality is is big all the time, but Will will or, tell or available available. Yeah, yeah, but Will will tell you he's been playing a role his whole life. Yes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. Will will tell you that Will Smith was a character. Right. That 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 he created, that protected him. Like, he, I remember listening to him on Rap Radar podcast, and he talked about mm-hmm. he didn't even curse. He didn't even want to curse publicly because he wanted people to feed into the Will, will Smith, Smith Mr. Nice Guy yeah. character. He said when he turned 50, this last year of his life has been the best year of his life because he's finally being will. truly being himself. Uh-huh. So it's just like when you look at Will, and you're like, when did Will become the Dalai Lama? Uh, like, but anybody you... That actually knows Will. When you talk to these guys like Charlie McDonald, they're like, yeah, he's always been the smartest guy in the room. Right. He reads everything. He studies everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. it's just like, would you would you have thought that 20 years ago? No. 30 years ago? I mean, I, I always assume intellect with, with successful people, but, mm-hmm. but the fact that he's like so um, grounded, zen, that is a thing. Yeah, zen-like, yeah. Buddhist almost. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah. And didn't he get into MIT or something like that? Wasn't there? Like, I always, so he, we yeah. always knew Will was a... I know, heard that. I heard that after the fact. I, I didn't. I, I actually heard that for the first time this week. I never thought about it. And then he chose not to go to yeah, the music, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I, yeah, I don't. You I don't, asked him a great question. I thought it was it was classic Charlemagne when you asked him about the Tupac thing. I thought it was brilliant. I didn't. To be honest with you, I'm like, who wasn't? I always thought that. Yeah, but I think that's one of the reasons why we gravitate to you is because you will ask the questions that we think, but most people are afraid to ask in the moment. Like, you get an opportunity to hang out with Will Smith, and most people are going to be like, oh my God, and I love this movie, and how is mm-hmm. this, and you jumped off this canyon, and all these questions yeah, yeah, that yeah. are fine because you want someone that you admire to like you. And I think that people are often blinded by that, right? Like, they want to be liked so much that they won't ask the questions they're curious about. I'm and a I fan. I'm a fan first and foremost. Yeah. I'm a fan of the culture. You yeah. know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fan of, of Will Smith. Yeah. Not, not, not afraid to admit that. So those are just life things, right? Cause yeah. I got, I got, I got homies, you know what I'm saying? Like I got homies who have been in high profile relationships with people and, you know, a, 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 a ex-boyfriend dies. And then that woman is crying and, right. you know, Talking about how much she loves her and that was her soulmate. And I've seen how that affected my homie, right? Yeah. So in a situation like that, it makes you think about the Will and Jada and Tupac dynamic. Like, yeah. yes, Jada had a lot of love for Pac and she cries for Pac, over Pac. And, you know, she talks about Pac, Pac with such with such reverence. So I'm like, yeah. that's a, how, how did that make you feel? Did yeah. you, have, you had to be jealous of that in some way, right? Like, I mean, Great. And, and I'm only leaning into, into 
what I would assume is some of my insecurities as well. You know what I mean? As a man, I know how that would yeah. make me feel. You're lying. If you're lying, if you don't think that would make Completely. you feel away, you're, 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 you're not even you're not remotely telling the truth. 100%. To see the woman that you love gush over another yeah. human, you'd be like, "Don't do it." I don't even like when my girl laughs at other people's jokes. Like, uh, <laughs> what's so funny about that? <laughs> hey, you got mad comedians though. What's so funny about that? I'm sure that? you got mad comedian friends. Yeah, but why? That's not. I, I'm funny. Well, that's, that's. I think that's comic ego. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, that's the yeah. thing I value. It's like imagine your girl was like, "Man, I was listening to Joe Budden pull up and that shit." You'd be like, "For why?" Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, for why? Why? Why were you doing that? Why, what, what was the point of what that? What was the point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm with you. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm with you 100%. Yeah. The illest part of that was when Will, before I asked him that question, Will was like, no, I I, I watch you. I know I know. I how saw you, that part too. I, 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 I know good, your yeah. little ignorant patterns. And, and he was right. Yeah. I was about to ask him a question, but I didn't think that was like a, a whammy. I think that this is like the evolution of you. Because I think the earlier version of you would, would would do this, would ask this question. Yo, did Jada ever fuck Pac? That's mm-hmm. the early no. Charlemagne. I bet you yeah. early Charlemagne no. does that. And now you ask the same no. question, but <laughs> what it, what you really are worried about. You're not concerned if Jada ever fucked him. Because that's how we like manifest it on like a lower level. You ask, did, did she love him and how'd that make you feel? Now you're tapping into some deeper emotional shit. Oh, not even not even if she loved him, because we know she loved him. Or how did loving him make yeah, you feel? Yeah, it yeah. was a fucking <clears throat> way more layered and deeper question because it goes outside of the sexual component. Because the answer to the first question when Will goes, nah, then you're like, okay, now I can't follow up. But this one is, well, he's gone, but does it still? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you feel well, well, I, 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 you know, listen, I came, I had to follow up. The follow up was, you know, um, how did you get over it? But... But no, what? It's not just me driving the car. So wait, what do you mean? What, oh, they didn't want somebody go else. To follow. Went, yeah, that's envy. He wanted them asked another question and went somewhere else with the interview. But it's cool. I just you know, I, Will is one of those people that I would love to sit down and have uh, that one on one. Yeah, great. just about life. Yes, you know what I'm yes. saying. Like just about you know, because I hear him talk about healing childhood traumas, and you know, it was another part of the interview where he even talked about at one point he was jealous of Dwayne Johnson. Why? Because he said, you know... Cause he was I, getting I, all the movies that Will used to do? Well, I talked to him. I asked him about the fact that a lot of his movies been flopping. Yeah. How'd right? you how'd you phrase that? Uh, I don't remember exactly how I phrased it. I just said, you know, do, do either one of y'all... Do both of y'all... Do y'all feel like y'all have something to prove? You know, and I was like, you know, Martin Anthony. And I was like, you know, you know, especially with you, Will, because... You know, they've been saying how you used to be, bo- you used to be box guaranteed office, box guaranteed, office. Yeah. But now you've... You know, they say you've had a lot of flops. You know, so how did that make you feel? And then he talked about that, but then he even talked about, you know, feeling like he had to compete with Dwayne Johnson. Like, he's like, oh, what the fuck? That guy's, you know, getting all the, the looks now. So it's just like, it's just good to know that even at that level. There's still. People still, you still have insecurities. Yeah. You, you still have a slight envy. Yeah. You still are competitive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, but what, what he said is real. He's just comfortable being him now. Why do you think that, that him and Martin had such good chemistry? The ears. <laughs> the ears. The ears. I thought about that after the fact, and then it really bothered me that I never put two and two it. together. I never put, I never, I, I didn't put two and two together. They, they both had, think about it back then. Two black men with their own sitcoms, network television, and big ears. The ears, bro. I'm telling you, y'all think it's a joke. Yo, the we ears never considered together, that. Bro. They both had their own sitcoms, yes. and it was like bringing the Avengers together in that way. And and Martin had bad when boys they did first. Bad boys. Martin That's right. he was top picked villain. Will. Yeah. By the way, the new bad boys is good. I didn't see it. Good. I, I had a screening for it last Friday, man. Yeah. I really, really enjoyed it for reasons that I will talk about next week because I don't want to, you know, ruin anything for anybody. But I really, really enjoyed it, yo. Yeah. It was a really good movie. Yeah. And 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 they they probably could get another one off. Really. Taylor, what are you talking about? Think about how it ended. They had a Marvel like ending. Yes. Taylor, did you not like it? I thought it was what I expected. I didn't think it was like amazing, but I didn't say amazing. I just said good. Yeah, it was, was good. It was okay. Was it, was it cool? Was I actually it, thought it was kind of fire, to be honest with you. I didn't. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. It kind of slapped me. I like I really enjoyed it. You had to hear his reasoning, though. So next why? Week. Why? The nostalgia or. 
The old man shit? What was Boom. it? Boom. Yes. That's it. <laughs> yeah. They just leaned into it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah. leaned into it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, They yeah. didn't run from it. They didn't do the Tom Cruise bullshit yeah, yeah. where I got you all on the fucking performance enhancers and the yeah, yeah. HGH or whatever that shit is. Yeah, yeah. And he's got a girlfriend that's 20 right. and he's 90. Right. Like, I hate Tom Cruise for that. Yeah, yeah. They lean <laughs> back. <laughs> no, I really do. I hate Tom Cruise for that. Like, Tom Cruise got to knock it the fuck off. Like, yo, Tom Cruise still moves like a fucking 80s Hollywood star, <laughs> an 80s pop star. Yo, you don't control the narrative no more, Tom. Right. We know you're fucking old as dirt. <laughs> like, stop it. We, your face isn't fucking moving because you're getting all the work done in the world. Like, yeah. knock it off. We know you're old. Yeah, like, yeah. one day Tom is going to die of, like, a heart attack or some wild shit. And everybody's going to be like, huh? Huh? <laughs> He's 95 <laughs> fucking years old. I hate that shit. Martin and Will. See how angry black people get when a white man ages well? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what if that's what the movies have always been about? <laughs> White men aging well. Mission Impossible. <laughs> no, that was a good one, guys. Come on. This is a thinking man's podcast. A thinking woman's podcast. You're going to think about that and realize how good that was. That slap just now. It was good. All right. I'm not going to lie. It was good. It was that good. slap. But they leaned into the old shit, bro. And I'm talking about in a real way. In a yeah. way to where... There would be dialogue you would hear one of them do, and it would be so... You'd be sitting there thinking, man, that was corny. But then they would say it right there in that moment. They'd say that that was a corny yeah, line. Like, They'd call like, out their own corny. Like, what the fuck are you... What? You're, not, you're not 20? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yo, it was good, man. I thoroughly, I thoroughly enjoyed it for that reason. I mean, it was a good movie overall. Like, the premise was good. The storyline was good. Yeah. Had a nice twist to it that I didn't see coming, which actually set up sequels. But... The fact that they really leaned into the old shit, it was brilliant, man. <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed it. Okay. Good. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I want to see it. I, I want to see that. And then there's this movie called 1917. Have you heard of this? No. Some like World War One movie. Yeah. Good. Everybody's saying it's like cinematic. G like they made it look like the whole movie's one shot, apparently. I've seen that before. Blair Witch Project. <laughs> <laughs> why would I be? Why, why would that impress me? Yo. <laughs> What an amazing hustle that was. Blair Witch Project leaned, they're like, yo, it's kind of a real movie. That's why the footage is shitty. And then we're like, all right, we'll just accept that the footage is shitty. And then they just made a whole movie with shitty footage. What kind of real? I thought that shit was real because they set it up with a documentary. I think it was on a and &E oh. or one of these fucking channels. And it was a documentary about this shit called The Blair Witch. And I watched that shit one night and scared myself half to death. Right. And then about a month or two later, they was like, oh, they have a movie. They've, re they've recovered all the fucking footage. And we went to see that shit and was terrified. Then you start seeing these motherfuckers popping up on late night shows. <laughs> Which, by the way, should have been in their contract that they not shouldn't have to done. to do. Yeah, that'd be they really They ruined smart. the shit. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. Sh they should not have done. Like, they should have been in the future 20, 30 years from now. We should have been just realizing the Blair Witch was fake. Yeah. Like, they, 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 fucked, the, they fucked the whole premise up. But that movie was one shot. It was. Yeah, that shit was just like a handheld camera. Yeah. That shit was like the first World Star video before World Star. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was. It was like a hand. It was like a handheld camera. It was like wasn't really no angles and shit other than them looking at the camera. Oh, you see the dude in the corner. It's popular. Look at my man Chris Miles. Look at that meme he just made. Let me see. What's this? The fakes you make. The face you make when you're tired of all the jokes. <laughs> so you start plotting re or revenge. Whoa, Let me see. that's foul, yo. You do look like that, yo. <laughs> look at this face, man. You look at evil, man, bro. Man. You might be, bro. You giving him that uncircumcised dick. Taylor though. evil, bro. Taylor the reason most guys from Philly don't marry women from Philly. <laughs> I don't date. I haven't dated a, Philly, a guy from Philly in a long time. Neither have Philly guys. But like, I mostly date Jersey guys just Why? because they came over to Philly to party and stuff like that. Ah, yeah. that's what's up. Let's pay some bills. Okay, guys, it's time to grab the new year by the hair follicles. Here's to a year of personal growth. Thanks to hims. Get your hair right. Simple as that. Okay. You want to keep your hair. You think it's going a little thin. You think it's uh, falling out. You get on hims. Active ingredients, finasteride. I've been on it for years. Got a beautiful head of hair. Wearing a hat right now, but I'll take it out. Look at that. Ooh. Okay. Real Trumpish. My hair. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. Trump is not on hims. Trump needs the hims. He got that comb over because he's not on it. Forhims.com, one stop shop for hair loss. Okay. You go there, you make sure you get your hims, keep your hair. 
No snake oil pill or gas station counter supplements. You ask a few quick questions online and a doctor will review them and then determine if it's right for you. Then they can prescribe you medication to be shipped directly to your door. You know how nice that is? Dive into 2020 hair first. Right now, our listeners can get started with their first month for free. Go to 4 slash BI. That's 4 slash BI. Now, remember, the prescription requires an online consultation with the physician who will determine if a prescription is appropriate. Offer valid only if prescribed. So three-month minimum subscription. Additional restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Remember, that's 4 slash BI for your first month for free. Let me tell you something, man. Yeah. Um, speaking of hair... And hymns, all of y'all going to hell for fucking with Trick Daddy, man. Yo, what, you know what happened saying? with that? First of all, y'all don't understand as a black man, it's two things that I fear. Uh, number one, when I was young, I used to always fear having to go to jail when I got a shit. So that's mm-hmm. why I always like, if I got a shit before I leave somewhere, I'm going to make sure I shit. Right. Whether it's here at work, whether it's, you know, at the house, I don't chance it. You know what I'm saying? Because you yeah. never know. You might get pulled over. You might have a ticket you ain't paid for. Right. Might have a little warrant. Right. Now you sitting in that goddamn hole until having the shit. So I always okay. make sure I got a shit. Number two is I've gotten older and my hairline started to recede. I never wanted to be the person that got caught out there with a mugshot and I don't have a haircut. Yeah. And that goddamn RoboCop without his mask look is going on. But uh, you know what I, I mean? don't understand is his his hair. I mean, it looks like it was lined up with Tetris. <laughs> Why does it go in a block and then come back down? First of all, the whole hair is fake, the all, the whole top? Before you get your jokes off. Yeah. This no trick daddy has lupus. Lupus. Yes. And lupus is that responsible. usually affects your elbow, huh? You see lupus in your elbow. Your elbow gets all fat. My no. friend's mom had lupus. I think, it, I think it affects just more than that. I don't think it does that to your hairline. He said it did. I mean, of course he did. Well, so so <laughs> wouldn't my, you? It's like it's like it's like when you're in school and you know how you be teasing, teasing, teasing somebody. And yeah, like, Yo, your mom, your mom, <laughs> lupus. Hey, my mom is dead. Oh yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all I'm saying. Everybody jumped on him and he got on Facebook and said, y'all want to make jokes, but I got lupus. He said, every day I got to wake up and worry about whether I'm going to still be breathing. Now you feel bad, don't you? No. (laughs) No. You should. Why? Because. Because he has lupus? I didn't give it to him. Shut up, man. (laughs) Why do I feel bad about that? I didn't do it. It's because that's the reason it it looks like that. that I don't believe that that's why his hair looks like that. Really? Yeah. You think it's a bad barber? There's no way that 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 person's a barber that did that. Somebody Google lupus. Someone Google lupus has on hair. Yeah, do that. Alex, how do you know? Alex used to be a nurse. <laughs> he, used he used to be a nurse. He went to nursing Dominican school. Nurse. He's Puerto Rican. <laughs> Puerto Rican. <laughs> but what does the lupus effect? Does it make it look like your hair was cut with Lego? <laughs> Damn, so maybe uh, trick a rash. It could be a rash. No, it can't. Damn. What are you making up? So maybe, so maybe, maybe trick don't realize why they was clowning him. I think that they're making fun of. They, he thinks they're making fun of his face being a little yeah, swollen, which yeah, is definitely yeah, yeah, lupus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think he realized they're making fun of the hairline. It's just a little chip that's taken out at the top. Ew, that would make perfect sense. I mean, when you saw the hairline, what did you think? I was like, I, I said, police are so fucking cruel. You and think it, they buzzed it and no, then made him I, go? No, I just think, let him wear his fucking hat. Oh, they, yeah, They, they did this yeah, shit yeah. to Plies one time at the airport, man. Yeah, and, I, yeah. and Plies looked at the police officer and said, please, Mr. Officer, don't let me take my hat off. He said that to the police. He said, please, Mr. Officer, don't let me take my hat off. Please, please, did they please take, let me did he hat take his hat off. off? Took his fucking hat right off. Embarrassed the shit out of That's him. That's wild. Police are heartless, bro. Cruel as fuck. That's why if I'm ever in that situation, I'm going to say, yo, Take my fucking hat off now. You want to own it. Take my fucking hat off. Own it. And you're going to be like, no, you keep your fucking hat on. Ooh. <laughs> that's really smart. Yes. Reverse psychology. I'm going to say, take my fucking hat off. It's too tight. Why don't you do that next time you get pulled over? What do you mean? Give me a ticket for speeding. No, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you try more? Hell no. This is a good idea. And then I go from. Shoot uh, me for uh, no uh, reason. Exactly, no. <laughs> I go there and that's exactly what happened. Now I'm the irate, angry black person. This motherfucker got his gun. Like, what the fuck? He's this guy yelling and screaming. Your at Honor, me? he asked me to do it. Mm-hmm. He'd be the first cop to say that. Whoa. That'd be stupid. I'm not, no, I'm not doing that. Mm. What else? 
Oh, Lori Harvey. I don't know anything about Lori Harvey. I just hear in all these rap songs, apparently she's uh, 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 Steve Harvey's daughter. She is. Stepdaughter. No, that's, his that's his daughter. Stepdaughter. That's his stepdaughter. It looks just like him. That is not his real daughter. That's, 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 that's First of all, his, that is not a that's compliment. That's his second wife's, no. I don't think you second ever wife's say that. daughter. I'm telling you. I feel like they had a love child. You, oh, daughter. my God. She's Taylor, 23 years old, Taylor. So what? what does that mean? They've only been married for like five, six years. Doesn't mean they haven't known each other. Oh, God, Taylor. Taylor, please. This is what's wrong with the internet. You sound like Alex Jones. They look, no. They just look to me alike. Taylor, okay. Lori Harvey and Steve Harvey look alike to you? Yes. Have like, you seen has, Lori's mother? Yeah, they have a nice, whatever. I don't care what no Taylor, I don't want you to ever say <laughs> that the woman that got all these men going crazy looks like Steve Harvey. Please. Also, I don't want you to ever say that white people think all black people look alike because you happen to think that this very attractive <laughs> young lady looks like Steve Harvey. Looks like Steve fucking Harvey. Like she has. She has what? What? I'm, you, like, tell me. They have eyes. I need to know the features that you think Steve and Harvey nose. and Lori Harvey have together. Come the fuck on. Give me the. Come on. <laughs> Hold on. Taylor, I need you to look at this shit and say, what the fuck is wrong with you? I mean. Their eyes, in a way. I don't no. know. Their no, lips, no, no, no. And their lips. Stop, 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 hear yourself. stop, 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 stop. You stay right here. <laughs> I want you to look at that picture and then I want you to tell me the things that they have, uh, that they're similar. What is it? Their lips. They lips. A, they both have full structure. lips. No. I don't know. They look similar to me. Right. No. Like I mean, a nice, no, I'm not saying just just exactly like Steve Harvey, but a She nice looks mixer, nothing a like nice Steve Harvey. Her mom and Steve Harvey. So she's 23 yes. years old, right? Yeah. 23. Sorry, 23? She just turned 23. 23 years old. They've been married for how long? Him is, is Like five years, if that. How long have... Wasn't ha she cheating? Though? Hold on. How long has he been with her mom? He been, uh, Hold on, let me look it up. Hold on. How long has Steve... Let me look it up. Hold on. It hasn't been long at all. Hold on. So she How just long? took his last name exactly. when she spent the majority of her life? Exactly. That's Come disrespectful on. to her dad. So we got to hear what? both sides. Exactly. We got to hear both sides. All right. What's the other side? We don't know her dad. The other, we don't know who her dad I is. I looked up the dad's like a drug, in a drug business or something like that. Like pharmaceuticals? Where are you getting like, all of this shit from? I looked it up earlier. Pharmaceuticals or, or no, actual like, drugs? Yeah. Like... Uh, <laughs> what? Ten years. You've been married with her for ten years. Oh, okay. So maybe that's not that bad. You're there in her formative years. Yeah, thirteen. Yeah, yeah. So you probably yeah. met her even before that. So yeah. you've known her for a while. Yeah, Take yeah, on the yeah, dad's yeah. name. Maybe yeah. the dad wasn't that that's good. Not, that's not. That's not like uh, Quincy's last name is Combs, or is it? No, it's not. It's not. Who's Quincy? That's Diddy's step. You sure Quincy's last name not Combs? I don't think so. Or the Porter. Mm. What is it? Oh, Either way, I know Lori Harvey don't look like Steve Harvey. I mean, I, this is a beautiful woman. I don't know anything about Lori Harvey. I just know that she makes these guys go crazy. Rappers rap about her. She like I don't know anything. Future about got Lori it Harvey. now, right? Yeah, she's dating Future now. Oh, she got Future now. He's a coxman, <laughs> that Future, huh? What do you mean coxman? I mean, he takes him down, <laughs> takes him downtown. You think so? <laughs> oh yeah. Talk to me. What, you, what, what, what are they saying in the white world about Future? <laughs> That's his rep. <laughs> That's the rep you got. They they say that he takes them all down. Really? Man, yeah. Future, future. <laughs> Who's the future. list? Who's say on again. The list? Who's on the list? Lori Harvey. Okay. Ciara. Ciara. Ciara is <laughs> a car that hasn't come out yet. Ciara. Ciara is the new Toyota. Be out, be out in the fall, of twenty twenty. The Toyota Ciara. Toyota Ciara. Yeah. Bow Wow's baby mama. Bow Wow's baby mama. <laughs> I'm not impressed by the list so far. I kind of I don't have any more. Yeah, I mean, you talk to me. You talk, you, you, I mean, that's a coxman. Is that not a coxman? I've heard. I mean, listen. I've Who's been, the greatest coxman in the black community? We know who it is in the white community. Who, Leo? Who's it? Come on, Leo, man. Slang that dang a lang a lang. Shit, Leo might be in the black community too. As many black women as he be fucking. Let me think. Who he fucks is black. Oh, he, he gets it in. Let Name one. Leo DiCaprio. Yeah. Name Rihanna. one. Nah, I'm not naming one. Riri. Yeah. Um. He really be slinging like Who's that? The Yo, Leo in be the slanging community. that fucking dangling ever since Titanic. <laughs> Yo, Jeter, but Jeter's white. Jeter's in the Nick white Cannon, for sh Nick Cannon. Yeah, one of them. Nick Cannon is one of them. Nick Cannon is your best dick? Common, bro. Hold on. Trey Songz? We need to back this Common. Up. Nick Cannon, your best dick. That's the dick you put up there I mean, with Leo. I'm, Nick put a, Nick, 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 Nick said, Nick was naming some names on Big Boy. What he yeah. said? 
He got some joints. Yeah. Who he got? He got some joints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got some joints. <laughs> he got some joints. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I don't like this conversation because it's so juvenile, and I don't know why any man would be talking about the women they slept with. But why not? Well, publicly, that's why. But if it's already been mentioned publicly, you don't got to confirm. Say again. You don't got to confirm. Why? I mean, yeah, you do. Nah. I mean, maybe you don't. I don't care. I want to know who your best dick is. If you have to send a guy out there in the world to save the world to take down the hottest girl, who's it going to be? I don't know because it changes, right? Because save the world, no, one it, dick, no, one black it, dick to it, save it the world. It changes based off gener- <laughs> it changes based off generation. Because because this generation, cause you, hear, you hear about Drake. Drake be out here getting it in. That's your black dick. You're sending out the Jewish one. <laughs> that's my first. That's probably my first. That's line. your first. First line of defense. <laughs> so, so that's the first. You're sending first out line. the Jewish and then dick right now, 2020, January, whatever, 2020, 2020. I think Drake. But yeah. if I had to like So your best black dick is half white and yeah, Jewish. Young men for count young old men for counsel, young men for war. So I would use Drake for war and I would have Drake counsel common. Trey Songs. I don't know about Trey. I don't know about Trey. I don't know about any of these people. I'm just talking about the stories that I hear and the things that, that are out there publicly, the people that we've seen them with. It has to be taken I'm down. Going, I'm going Drake for war. Has to be. And common for the council. Save the world. Drink Save the war. black population. Drink for war. Yes. Common for council. Common for council. Drake for war. So yep. you're sending out your waffle colored ones. <laughs> yeah. when, when the going gets tough, you get waffle. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm saying based off what I've seen. <laughs> I'm just saying. Based off what Who I've seen. Who makes the soundtrack? And, Envy? And, 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 the, and, the, and the beauty, and the beauty of these guys, it seems like they like all varieties of black women. They like all shades of right. black women. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So it can it can go from Rihanna to Serena. You know what I mean? Okay. So I respect the fact that they like all shades of sisters. Okay. You know what I mean? So I would go Drake for war. Okay. Common for the council. And you think that you <laughs> save the world, you get the job done. I think so. I think so. And Drake's not picky. Drake will take them all down. Take them, it doesn't matter. From porn star <laughs> to pop star, Drake could take them all down. That's a good point because yeah, you don't know who you have to fuck That's to save what I'm the world. I just I read a story about a fucking turtle. They took this turtle. It was only like, let me. It was like, let me. Read, I want to read this exact <laughs> stat. That was a good Are stat, bro. Drake is fucking turtles. No, Drake didn't fuck a turtle. <laughs> but it's a star. I'm gonna oh, tell you. Yes, there's this turtle that I'm, literally I'm revived his entire species. Yes. 100-year-old turtle named when, Oscar or something like when that. When he started, there were just two males Oscar? and 12 females of his species alive on an island. That now the population like is over his two thousand, over 2,000. Yeah. And now that he's missing accomplished, they're putting Diego back into the wild. He would have a Mexican name. <laughs> <laughs> it would be a Diego, right? Diego, go repopulate the world. Put Diego. Okay. All right, now send him back over I the wall. Oh my god! <laughs> my job here is done. Yeah, damn it! But yes, Diego did his motherfucking job, uh, and I think Drake could get the job done too. Wow. You talking about end of the world? We doing a hypothetical, hypothetical brilliant idiot scenario. He, end he, of the world. He has to fuck one girl though. The one girl. It's the hardest girl to have sex with. You have to charm her panties off. Well, no, that's not the, that wouldn't work. Then, because she, how evil would this woman be if the world is ending? There's nothing left, yeah, yeah. and it's just them two left to populate the world. No, not populate, is, not populate. If, if, if you don't have sex with her, okay, a plague comes across the whole world, and everybody's dead, and you have to charm her. The straight. Who are you sending? Nah, I need her to sit down with my therapist for a few weeks because I need to know what her mind state is because she may want to die. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on, hold on, Charlotte. You saying you could take this down? No, I'm saying, you I would want her, no, I'm saying I would want her to see it. If we send you out there. Nah, black men don't cheat. What? Black men don't cheat. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. Okay, how about this? Uh-huh. You don't have to fuck her. You just have to get her to the point where she wants to fuck. What, Could would, you save the world? What do you mean? Like, fuck me? Yeah. I don't have no game no more. I would, need, I would be the worst person to send out there. What would it sound like when you were trying to save the world? I don't know. I can't even hypothetically have that conversation <laughs> because I'm so far removed from that behavior and that lifestyle <laughs> that I wouldn't even have that. I don't even know where to begin. You wouldn't know where to begin. Man, don't you I'm glad you know. <laughs> I really don't know. Listen, by the way, I was naive before, meaning like things would go over my head. Like right. a woman would literally have to be like, hey, I... Want to have sex with you? Come have sex with me right now. Like yes. I would be like, oh, that's, that's why, why I'm over here. Oh. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, I don't, I don't have game. I don't know what to do. Mm. I would not know where to begin. So we would die. 
Yes. By the way, why would you have to convince a woman to have sex with you if the world is about to end? This if is what, she really cares about We're just being humanity. hypothetical. We're just being hypothetical. Okay. We're just having fun as guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, as Patrice would say, that's what men do for fun. We get hypothetical about dumb shit. This is some dumb shit. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, Drake, my first line of defense. Drake, I'll be honest. Drake I don't know. Comment for counsel. I don't know if Leo's the guy I send out. I think Leo is only fucking the girls that he has like a huge advantage of because they're like starstruck. Straight mm. charm, charisma, straight charm. Might be Carl Lentz. Pastor Carl Lentz? I think Pastor Carl Lentz might got it, dude. What? Just go in there. You want to go to a Nets game? You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm going to that prayer shit worked, though. Prayer works, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 Pastor yeah, yeah. Carl, bro. You take a girl to church and, you know, you pray over her and all of this and that. That might... All them songs. Al got one. Al, go. Ooh. Obama. Obama. Charismatic. Every girl only wanted Handsome. Obama because he was married, though. I think Obama's <laughs> one of those guys that once a girl gets to it and realizes that he's willing to cheat, she's like, I knew you weren't as perfect as people thought you were. And look at your <laughs> jeans. They're all baggy. Yeah, I don't think that they would actually go all the way with Barack. I think that it was, it was, the, it was the mystique of... You know, he's married. He don't got no scandal. He don't got no dirt. Like, I think that a woman would only do that to say he's... To ruin the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah to say you he's full of it. You fucking bite I'm the serious. apple, bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think... <laughs> yeah, I don't think... That is some biblical-ass shit, right? That's Just don't true. fucking touch the apple, bitch. Taylor, who's the man that women can't... can't Cannot res stop... Res what is it called? <laughs> cannot resist. resist. Can't resist. They just need it so bad. Soaking up. I would say what you said, probably Drake. Not necessarily for me. I for you, who is it? It's just some like turnpike employee in the New Jersey. No, not me. I'm gonna have to him. edit that thing. Okay, Everybody's gonna be like, him. I knew Charlotte was gonna say Serge. No, keep that in. <laughs> that's what he was talking about. <laughs> it wouldn't be Serge? Who is it? No, <laughs> son, you doubling down now. <laughs> I thought y'all love him. Son. He has a big dick, but that's not my like number one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just Yo, saying. Yo, you know that pillow at the hotel beds, this like long and cylindrical? You know the yes. one I'm talking about that yeah. you're supposed to put between your legs when you sleep? That's what it's for? What is that for? I thought it was just for decoration. I don't know. You just gave us the Andrew Schultz reason. <laughs> that's, what, that's what Andrew uses it for. <laughs> Who's the guy, Taylor? For me? Yeah. I like the old heads, though. Like, give me, like, uh, Omar Epps and stuff. I want that. Uh, Mars Chestnut. Yeah, he's cool. I'm not going to say Mars Chestnut because I know you're going to say... Who? <laughs> who? 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 What? 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 It's not my fault I get mistaken for Morris Chestnut Taylor. <laughs> why, are you, why are you mad at me? Because people mistake me for Morris Chestnut. What did I do? Okay. Other than look like Morris Chestnut. <laughs> By the way, Morris says he gets mistaken for me too. What do they what? call you though? Morris Walnut. Morris Walnut. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I'm going to show you a picture right now. <laughs> It's a photo shoot I just did. <laughs> Mar Morris Walnut is mad funny, bro. Because a walnut is a way shittier nut. Nobody's Let's seen be honest, these, dude. Nobody's seen these pictures yet. Come see. on now. Okay, that's one. Let me looking clean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me looking clean. Okay. That's that's Morris Chestnut for sure. Okay, now go You're up. You're so happy. I'm the next one, go on. No, that's me. Hey, you, bro. Come on, <laughs> John. Come on, man. Come on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all tripping. Oh, there's another guy, bro, too. He's get a football out of here. player, though. Morris Chestnut, bro. <laughs> bro fuck out of here. <laughs> you think Charlie Man looks like Morris Come on, Chestnut? Now. I can see a little bit of his like the eyebrows. There, you look handsome there. Well, you look handsome. You, you do. <laughs> That's what everybody, everybody that's old enough to order off the goddamn IHOP senior menu loves to call me handsome. When their vision goes a little? <laughs> <laughs> My friend has a huge crush on Charlamagne. Talk to me. Come on. But is it physical? Nothing wrong with a little positive or it, affirmation. Or is it is it combined with charisma and intelligence? All that. All that. She loves him. Talk yeah. To me. Tell me more. <laughs> I don't. Don't like, ever. Th don't ever think that I don't need it. No, this is good to hear. No, what, you met her. Let's actually. talk about what's really? his name. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I said, have a guy for you too. <laughs> really? He's a nice dark chocolate too. How much cacao? <laughs> <laughs> what is cacao? 90% <laughs> cacao? He's, he's hefty though. He's a little hefty. You like him thick, bro? Who? 
Huh? <laughs> Ooh. You like that pecan? What are y'all talking about? <laughs> Speaking of cons, Akon. <laughs> Yo, uh, yeah. that's kind of crazy, bro. So he has his own city. That's kind of I don't I don't know what the fuck that even means. Yeah, but I heard that shit, and that shit made me feel like I wasn't doing enough with my life. Yeah, because we always had these conversations about community building. Akon's figured it out. He's he built building his a own whole city in city. Senegal, bro. Like if that's the goal, I'm with that. Yeah. How does that work though? I don't know. So did he just go there and he purchased land that nobody was living on? I don't know, man. What do the people that already live in that city feel? How do they feel about their city being I renamed? I think he's building it from the ground up because he's got his own currency and everything they say they're using. Acon currency. It's <laughs> cryptocurrency, yeah. Yeah. Acoins. Acoin. Wow. I mean, I made that up just now. But it is the, they do have the <laughs> cryptocurrency, though. It is cryptocurrency. It's not, I don't know if it's called Acoin, though. I, I mean, it's God bless him, man. Yeah. Uh, he said he was going to do it. And I thought he was getting a big investment from China. I but heard it seems like too. he's doing it himself. I, and I, I saw people giving him flack for that. Who gives a fuck where you get the money from? Well, that's American, like, uh, imperialistic uh, narrative. Like, we can't let anybody else control the world. We got to control the world. We owe China now. I mean, it's bullshit. Oh, but uh, yeah. We owe them a lot of money. Like, it's either, oh, a tomato, tomato. Like, you're going to get the bread from somewhere to start something. Like, yeah. fuck it. Like, yeah. what's the problem? Yeah. If, I don't, I don't, I don't, what's the problem? I don't know. I gotta be eating. Y'all wanna talk about Oscars? Oscars what? I don't give a fuck about the, yo, I cannot tell you how much no, I don't no. care about the We Oscars. should have a nice little conversation about the Oscars and why every, every year for the majority of the year, the conversation is, we just gotta care about our own, we gotta stop caring about everybody, we gotta support our own, mm -hmm. and we gotta do whatever for our own, and then a bunch of fucking old white people decide which movies are good, and people are like, how? Ooh, how exactly. The, how, why, why is it so, Oscars so by, racist? By the way, who cares? The movies that the Oscars pick, I don't even be liking none of these shit. Son. I don't, like, I, I hated that shit where the guy had the dirty bathtub. And what's, that, what's that one? The shit with the dirty bathtub and the motherfucker was talking to him in the dirty bathtub. Precious? No, man. Yo. What's the shit, man? I don't know. You know the shit I'm talking about, man. It's a dirty bathtub? Remember the motherfucker had a dirty bathtub and the shit came alive in the dirty bathtub? Ghostbusters? Based off a short film. I have no idea. Y'all know what the... You guys gonna come to y'all. Actually, I think they won the Oscar, if I'm not mistaken. It didn't happen yet. Something of water. The shape of water. There was a mutant in there. <laughs> How you describe that movie by the bathtub? It was in a fuck you. Not gonna tell me that thing wasn't in a bathtub. It was in an aquarium. It was an aquarium. Yes. Oh, I thought it was a dirty bathtub. I oh, see. I didn't watch the shit. Oh my gosh. Because <laughs> that, that's what we do. It's the fucking brand name is Alan. I was gonna ask how can I not like something I didn't watch. So we just discussed the debate. And neither of us saw you it talking about? for the first thirty minutes of the podcast. The brand name is podcast. God yeah. damn it. Okay. So. Um. Oscars, one thing that really bothered me is everybody was getting so upset that Dolomite didn't get nominated. Dolomite should have like, been nominated, yo. Based on Eddie how, should have got at least... Based on how great it was, yes. Dolomite should have been nominated, but if you saw Dolomite, you must have missed the whole point of Dolomite, which was make content for your, for your people, people and who gives up. a fuck what anybody else nah, has to say fact. about it. That's a fact. Dolomite would not care if Dolomite was not nominated for an Oscar. That is a fact. So it's like, stop with this petty bullshit. Stop care. What is it? What did somebody say? Kaz said it on a podcast about like um, people take on the values of their oppressors when they don't have values themselves. Ooh. It's like when you lose your values and what you value, you take on the value of your oppressors. Like stop putting their values ahead of yours. Yeah, yeah, have yeah. Have your yeah, own yeah, values. Yeah, yeah. Care what you care about. We can't keep saying that we don't give a fuck what these people think. And but, they complain about yeah, it. Yeah, but every time something happens, we give a fuck. Like who cares? I do think Aquafina should have been nominated. I thought that was weird. Because you, won, you won the Golden Globe. I, yeah. thought, I thought that when you win the Golden Globe, you automatically get an Oscar nom. I think sometimes <clears throat> they have egos, so they're like, oh, we're not going to let them win the Golden Globe and the Oscar. Yeah. I think well, at least whatever. give her a nom. Give I mean, her a nom, yeah. Yeah, if, you, if you're good enough to win the Golden Globe, she should at least got a nomination for the farewell. I actually do think Lupita Nyong'o should have got a nomination, too. I thought for... she killed it in Us, bro. Yeah, she was good. Us was great. I love her. I she still like good. Us to this day. I thought she did a hell of a job in Us. But, I mean, other than that, I didn't see any of those other movies. So I can't tell you if them shit deserved to be Oscar nominated or not. Yeah. You know what I mean? I just know that when you have usually a bunch of old white men choosing what's cool, they're going to choose what they can relate to. Like you saw what Stephen King put out there. Stephen King was like, <laughs> yeah. he doesn't think about diversity when it comes to art. He just thinks about the art, which is a stupid statement from him because he made Carrie. 
Carrie was about a. I remember him writing in his book one time. Stephen King wrote about how Carrie was an analogy for feminism. How he wrote that book to show something about how women channel their powers and how men are scared of women with powers. So clearly, you wrote that movie. So that's what that movie was about. He wrote. That's what he wrote in one of his books. I thought that shit was about having a period. Oh, I don't fucking know. I don't know. But he, he, Stephen King said that himself. So if you say that about one of your films, clearly you wrote that art with diversity in mind. So for you to make a statement that you don't think about diversity when it comes to your art, that's just fucking stupid, Stephen. But he's yeah. 72 years old. I mean, has he made a lot of movies that are diverse, though, outside of, like, the female shit? I, I mean, listen, I don't... He's a fucking science fiction horror guy. So like, it's going to be a lot of white shit. Who gives a fuck about diversity when you're writing about clowns that kill kids? <laughs> like, like, it's the, like, who cares? It's a horror movie. He's like, writing what he knows. Like, who? why would he write some black or Puerto Rican or Muslim storyline? He doesn't know about that. He probably lives in Vermont. Bro, imagine if it wasn't a white man. What the fuck is it, by the way? A clown. Well, what's his race? We don't know? White. He's a white guy, right? Yeah, yeah. So imagine if it was a Latino. A Latino clown. Or a black person. A it'd payaso. Be, it'd be outraged, probably. Why? Go on. Because he's a murderous clown. Because he's wearing white face? <laughs> man, shut up, man. What? <laughs> I'm just what? saying. Because he's a murderous clown. What? They probably would find a reason to be upset. Like, why he got to be black? Why he got to be Latino? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's just the era we live in. So I don't... I, don't, I really don't give a fuck. I, can't, I cannot explain to you how much I don't give a fuck about the Oscars. I don't yeah, care. I agree, man. Who's hosting? I don't even know who's hosting. Is anybody hosting? I think there's no host. No host again. No host? Pussies. Mad pussy. <sighs> Yo, Oscar's so pussy. That's what you should hashtag. Stop calling it a fucking Oscar. Why can't it be non-binary? Real talk. Seriously. <laughs> nah, for real. Fuck that. Why it gotta be Oscar? Oscar's male. The Oscar's a male. It don't have no genitalia anyway. It look like genitalia. Why does it gotta be an Oscar? Like. Stop that. We yeah, should cut that Get out. rid of that shit, yo. What should it be called? They. The they's. <laughs> From now on, we gonna call it the days. Yo, that's that's a what great the new point. award show should be. Fuck the Oscars. It should be called the days. Yeah, that's the it. days. That's it. And no gender categories at all. So just one thing. That's it. And then so so now when you say did they win, we all won. We all won. No winner. <laughs> I like that. How are people still winning in 2020? That's disgusting. That's disgusting. All these kids getting participation trophies, but you're actually letting people win shit? Winning is... is, this is guy, yo, no. You know what? Oscars are problematic. Patriarchy, bro. man. Oscars are problematic. They're problematic, fuck, No, man. for real. They're problematic. Why they else need, you think? They need to get with the fucking times, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're still calling the statue a, ma a man's pronoun. Right. Right? The red a carpet? How do Native Americans feel about that? Whoa. <laughs> whoa, bro! Like, whoa! Come whoa, on, yo! Whoa, 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 That's whoa, foul! Whoa, 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 That's whoa, foul! Whoa. And they still got like best actor and best actress. Why? Why? Why can't it just be everyone together? You Agreed. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, who's the best person that starred in a movie? Yeah. Why does it got to be separated by genitalia? Yo, y'all problematic, bro. Very problematic. We got a lot to change. What else could we change about it? Definitely got to start with the name. Definitely, it should name. be the days. Yeah. Um. I think they should get rid of the supporting. Like, it shouldn't be actor or actress. It should just be all one category. All one category. Um, you said what? No, they didn't. Well, some award show they did. Though. No, they, no didn't. they didn't. It was a Soul Train Award. Soul Train Awards. Um, they don't do that anymore. What about the red carpet? I don't know anything about the red and the Native American thing. <laughs> Break it down for me, Andrew. Well, I mean, redskins is a is a term. You know, because they say that their skin looks got you. closest to red. Got you. Got you. You know. I got to pee. Um, Guys, this has been a, a very informative episode. Very. It's always. This is, this is brilliant. It is at its finest. <laughs> we learned a lot today. We learned a lot. Um, I hope you learned a lot. I did. I um, did. And we thank you. We are grateful. Very grateful for your listenership. Um, as always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, absolutely right. If you listen to this podcast, you think we're just a couple idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. 